Hi guys! Welcome sa All Good Sip na yan. At para sa topic natin for today, we're going to have grouping line using two points of that line. Guys, alamin natin to at alamin natin kung bakit masaya ang matuto sa matematika. So our objective for today, at the end of this video, this learning materials, so we're going to have the graph of a linear equation given the following condition. We're done with slope intercept form. We're done with x and y intercept. Now, we're moving to our third topic which is any two points of the line. So paano ba tayo magawa ng line? gamit ang two points natin. At paano ba magkakaroon ng two points? Di ba? So, alamin natin kung paano ito, guys. So, determining two points of the line, so, the line, linear equation of the line itself tells us relationship between two variables. So, we got, we're, based on our definition, we have an x-intercept as our independent variable. And y depends on it that tend to be our dependent variable. Ibig sabihin, if we assign any value for x, makukuha natin ng y. At tandaan ka natin guys, sa pag line na pinag-uusapan, may x and y tayo, lagi pag-uusapan natin dyan, yung ordered pair. Ibig sabihin, kung mag-assign tayo ng value sa x natin, magkakaroon tayo ng y. Hence, magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang point. Dito na pass yung konsepto nito. In order for us to determine any two points of the line, we need to evaluate the equation to assign two values for x. So, two values. This will allow us to have two values for y, thus, two pair of point or two pair of ordered pairs. Tandaan nyo, ang dalawang point ang nagde-define ng isang line. Let's have some example. So, uh, we have the standard for ax plus by equals to c. We have 2x plus y equals to 3 as our example. Now, we're going to evaluate the equation using x equals to 1 and x equals to negative 1. Pero guys, kahit ano pwedeng gamitin nyo na x and y. Ngayon, gagamitin ko lamang isang positive at isang negative para yung line, parang from the x part na negative, papunta sa, y, uh, sa x part na positive, parang magkamera ng uh, distinction yung positive at negative side. Kaya ang gagamitin ko, isang positive one, isang negative one. Pero for you guys, kahit anong point pwedeng gamitin. Kasi, basta makabuo ka ng dalawang point, as long as tama, ang procedure mo, tama ang graph mo. Now, I'm going to use 1 and negative 1. Simple, simple. Substitute. So, I'm going to replace x by positive 1. It become 2 times 1 plus y equals to 3. It become 2 plus y equals to 3. Now, we're going to add negative 2 on both sides para ma-eliminate natin si 2. So, plus natin ang negative 2. Cancel out. So, y equals to 1. Since 3 plus negative 2 is 1. So, meron tayong value na 1. Ibig sabihin, may ordered pair na tayo na positive 1 and positive 1 for the y. So, for negative 1 naman, so 2 times negative 1 plus y equals to 3. So, be careful guys ha, kapag kayo nag a add ng subtract ha, para tama ang inyong kasagutan. So, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus y equals to 3. So, now we have, we have negative 2. We're going to put it on the other side. So, mag-add tayo ng positive 2 ngayon. So, canceling them, it becomes 0. We have bring down y. So, 3 plus 2 is 5. Now, may ordered pair na tayo. If x equals to 1, then y equals to 1. Kita sa ating first solution. Kapag ang x naman natin ay negative 1, y equals to 5. Kita sa ating second solution. 
Tandaan nyo guys, kapag nagsasubstitute kayo, you must be careful at tama ang procedure na ginagamit mo. Ngayon, meron tayong x and y, meron tayong 2 points. So, we have 1, 1 and negative 1, 5. Now, if we have, if we have now the 2 points, pwede na tayong mag -rap. So, Cartesian plane natin. So, we're going to have the 2 points here. We're going to grab the first point, which is negative 1, 5. And the other point, which is 1, 1. Now, we have the graph of our equation. Okay po? Tama ang ating sagot. So, try natin ang isa pang example para mas maintindihan ninyo. Sabi ka nila, more example, more happiness, more learning. So, we have ax plus by equals to c. We have x plus 2y equals to 5. So, mag-replace tayo. Ngayon, same thing. Gagamitin ko si 1 at negative 1. Tandaan nyo guys, any 2 points to ha. Kayo ang bahala kung anong x ang gamitin nyo. Kasi ang line naman na extend yan infinitely. As long as may dalawa kang point, tama po yan. Ngayon, ginamit ko lamang guys sa 1 at negative 1 para pare-parehas tayo. Nang sagot, syempre. Okay. So let's evaluate. We have 1 plus 2y equals to 5. We have 1 plus 2y equals to 5 again. So ngayon, add ko yung negative 1 para makompleto natin siya. Okay, nakancel out siya. Ngayon, i-add natin sa kabilang part. We bring down 2y. So 5 plus negative 1 is a positive 4. So dividing both sides by 2, y will become a 2. So kabilang side naman po tayo. Gagamitin naman natin ay negative 1. We're done with positive 1. Sa so, negative 1 naman tayo. So ngayon, we're going to add both sides by positive 1 para may limit yung negative 1 natin yun. So become 2y and a 6. So 5 plus 1 is 6. Dividing both part of the equation by 2, y will become 3. So meron tayong point na kapag ang x natin ay 1, ang y natin ay 2. Kapag naman ito ay negative 1, ito naman ay positive 3. Hence, we already have the two points, which is 1, 2, and negative 1, 3. May two points ka na. Pasado na. Joke lang po. Ngayon, igagrap natin siya ngayon. So, pag ginarap natin siya, we have 1, 2, and negative 1, 3. So, plot natin ng first point natin. So, negative 1, 3. And the other one is 1, 2. Okay, tanda na sa panagagrap pa. Lagi una si x bago si y. O, ba? After you find your x missing, you ask yourself y. Same thing with this. Kailangan x muna bago y. Oh, connect. And you have now the graph. Okay? Question po. If you have some question on our discussion, better put it on the comment, guys. So, para mas marami tayo time para magawa pa on another video to provide explanation sa inyong mga katanungan. Siyempre. Now, if you really understand our topic today, 5 minutes for you, guys. Try to grab both item. So, gamitin lang natin ng xi1 at negative 1. Pero ulitin ko, guys, ha, kahit anong value pwede nyo gamitin. Okay? Para lang pare-pares tayo ng point na gagamitin. Okay, 5 minutes. Good luck, guys!
Uh, let's try to check whether your answer are correct or not. So for our first line, so we have 1, negative 3, and negative 1, 0 for our points. So tinan nyo tama ang pagkakagraph ninyo. And 1, 1, and negative 1, 3 for our second line. So tumawa ba kayo guys? Comment below. <laughs> so if you really understand our topic for today, give it a like guys. Do not forget to leave a like. Leave some comment if you have some question. At tandaan niyo guys, para matuto sa mathematics, magtanong at magtanong at magtry-try ng mga item. The more try, the more chancing, na, chances of winning. No? The more chances na matuto ka sa ating subject. Okay? So, I hope you learned something from our discussion for today. So guys, God bless. See you on the next video. Do not forget to like, follow, and subscribe my page or my other Facebook account, Facebook, my Instagram, and this uh, channel. So, ingat po, God bless, and see you on the next video. Pakabayot po kayo, and God bless po, ingat po.